All right, welcome everybody to coffee and I need a warm up. <laughs> I always do that. I'd sit here and chat with everybody before I hit record and then I drink my coffee before I hit record. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of things today. First off, the first thing I want to do is thank whoever sent me. I, it, I just covered up my address. There was no gift uh, card note in it, so I don't know who. <laughs> Last week, I was I was coloring in uh, Doodlers Anonymous and trying to do different golds, um, you know, on the color book page. And I did not have a gold Posca. I have silver and I have all other colors. I did not have a gold. So somebody primed me over the weekend, two blacks and a gold. There's no name. So if anybody wants to fess up and tell me who said this so I can thank you. <laughs> That's so sweet. Upstairs said he went out in the mailbox this morning. And they, they delivered it overnight in my mailbox. So it was like in my mailbox. So I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know who sent it to me. Uh, you know you're the one. Who, aw, thanks, Melody. That's sweet, Melody. Thanks so much. Hey, Barb's. Anybody else popping in? So whoever uh, primed me a gold Posca and two blacks. <laughs> I know, right? Thank you so much. Um, I try to, uh, you know, send a send a little thank you or something out to people that do this, but I can't do it if uh, I don't know who did it. Let me see. I'm just gonna have to cut this open. So thank you. <laughs> I know. So we're going to do some Society Idea Collector uh, thing today, which is, it's going to be a few different things. This is Society of Idea Collector. Thank you, Pacola, number 28. And Pacola's our new mod. So, um, I know. So thank you, whoever sent me two more blacks and a gold, because I did not have a gold. And I go through the black and white, so I go through those a lot. So thank you so much. And so now we will have to test this on... Um, uh, maybe, I, well, no, I can't do it. Let's see. How, I think I finished that page. Did I finish that page? Let's see. I, I think I cut it out. I think I took it out and put it. I did finish it. I think I put it in the Doodler's Anonymous double page spread. I think I put it in my notebook. So let's look real quick. Did I put it in the notebook? I think I did. What did I do with it? No, I didn't put it in here. What did I do with it? I think I cut, I, well, I knew I had them cut out. I cut them out while I was coloring them. So what did I do with those double page? Where are they? Hmm, I'll have to dig around. But I'm, I finished them. I thought I put them in a, a sleeves. But I don't know where they are. So we'll have to, have to dig around to find where I put them. Weird. Where did I put them? Oh, well, well I won't take the time to do it now. But anyway, I want to I did finish them. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Okay, so we'll have to, I'll have to look for them. Anyway, um, so whoever sent me, whoever sent me the uh, Poscas, thanks so much. Okay, so, a few things. Um, we're going to do a couple things today. One thing I want to do is take this color book of botanicals, and you can use any kind of color book that has a lot of individual images. It doesn't have to be botanicals. It can be anything. But I'm going to show you how to make stickers with these. Now, of course, I mean, it's not hard, and y'all probably made stickers yourselves, but we're going to color and make our own stickers, <coughs> like here, this leaf page. <coughs> Hang on, guys. Like these leaves. So, we'll color them. We're going to put them on. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to have to go get some juice. Uh, we're going to put them on sticker paper and uh, make stickers out of them. And you could always just print, the, you could, you know, if you wanted to, I guess, make a copy of it, print it on sticker paper, color it and all. But I'm going to show you how to do it the long way. Oh, Connie, you sent them? Thank you, Connie. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Yes, I got them. It came overnight. Sunday night delivery. Overnight. <laughs> Thank you so much, Connie. <clears throat> very, very sweet. Thank you. Hi, Limo. 
And uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that in a minute. Okay, I got pile stuff over here for that. Um, and I, I pulled out some of these papers just to show you because I'm going to write some information, write some notes down for the Society of Idea Collectors in one of these travelers. You, these are the purchase kind. Um, this one has a planner thing in it. I think this came in a set of three, and this one had the dates in them. Now, you get these at Michael's. I think you get a set of three. I think they're normally $10 for three. And they have different kinds. Like this one has um, the the week, days of the week, a monthly calendar, and then a bunch of dotted grids in there. I don't know if you can see the dotted grids, but it has all kinds of things. Well, anyway, this is one in a set of three that I would not use as is. In other words, it's got dates and stuff. I've got other places that I write down if I need to remember a date, you know, birthdays or something. That's in another place. Um, but anyway, but you can still use these in your traveler's notebooks. And I have, I have multiple traveler's notebooks, but I got two, <laughs> the main ones. And, um, but anyway, these are, I think, $10 for three at Michael's, but use a 40 or 50% off coupon, and you can get three for five or $6. And they're, it's a nice quality, and these are the shiny. This has shiny. But what I wanted to show you is if you don't want to buy, this is so easy to make, these guys. You can so make these, and you don't even have to staple them. You can just take paper that's this size, fold it in half, make your own, and that's why I pulled out these scrapbook papers to show you that you can just make your own, cut your own, just cut um, printer paper, cut printer paper down. Let me get, this is, a, I think, the standard size. Get ruler here. Uh, it's just over eight and a half by eight and a quarter that's the open sheet so if you cut your pen you can make them any size you don't have to have all your travelers notebooks exact same size to fit in a travelers look see i got some that are bigger that hang out some that are smaller look see the different sizes i have there there's all different sizes so it doesn't have to be exact it just has to you know be this tall so that it fits in your book which is Right at eight and a half, right at eight and a half tall. But if they're a little bit wider, that it doesn't bother me. But if it does bother you to, to make them all the same size, that's totally up to you. But these are the two that I use, and they're the Jane Davenport canvas ones. And uh, so I have different projects, different things that I do in each one. And um, but what my point was is you don't have to buy these. Just get you some copy paper. It could be watercolor paper. Any of yours art papers, whatever. Cut your sheet down. Fold it in half. You don't even have to staple it. If you have a long arm stapler, you could staple it. Or just fold it and then let the rubber bands or the elastic bands inside of your book. You know, the elastic, the elastic inside. And, and it will hold that in. So you don't even need to staple it if you don't want to. And that way, especially if you have like watercolor paper or art paper, then you can just pull a sheet out and then put that sheet back in your book. So I brought these papers out to show you. This is the uh, this is uh, the paper one of the paper stacks called Pretty Petals from Hobby Lobby. Don't ever pay $19.99. They, these Paper Studio brand at Hobby Lobby goes on sale at least once a month for 50% off. Everything Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby brand, they go on sale, put all anything with the Paper Studio let, brand on there, scissors, punches, stickers, all kinds of things are made by Paper Studio. And at least once a month, they have it all 50% off. So don't ever pay full price for it. At least use a 40% off coupon if you had to have something when it wasn't on 50% off week. So this paper is kind of a texture. It feels kind of like watercolory type paper on one side. The other side smooth. But I just wanted to show you some example, an example, of some of the pretty papers. You can make your own traveler's booklets, right? 
and uh, and this is a little thicker. It's not. It's a, it's about a card stock weight. So it's a get the little bit thicker type if you're going to use it for a cover. Because the paper, the thin thin paper is not going to hold up as a cover. You could always take the paper uh, pads that you found one that you really like and glue it over the top of uh, an already made one, right? But anyway, so. I'm just, and I've taken quite a bit out of this already, so I don't know that every single sheet is in here. But they, you get three of each, and um, so you're only going to see a, maybe one or two of some of them because I've taken some out and used some, see. Um, but just to show you how pretty this stack is. So if you wanted to make you a traveler's notebook with all your own inserts, you can make all your own inserts and make them all out of one stack of paper. Whatever stack that is that you like, you know. So I just wanted to show you all that as an example of making your own covers. Now, if you like the ones with all the calendars and all the information in them, then, of course, you're going to want to buy those. But you may not like the cover that comes on them. Well, you can always just recover them. Make your own, right? So I just wanted to give you that idea. This is a Society of Idea Collector segment. And, uh, and then put your own, um, put your own in, in your whatever tra kind of travelers that you have. I'm using these two Jane Davenport ones. And I can get a lot in these, and this has lasted me a long, long time, especially if it's information I want to keep. And speaking of information I want to keep, I pulled this one out just to, to show you that what we're going to do uh, is you could have, now we've talked about our Society of Idea Collector three ring binders. Y'all know I, I, I love my three ring binders. And if I have extensive information, Melissa says I make mine the size of Moloskinas because I like the wider shape. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, it's just whatever you collect. And that's why when people join the Society of Idea Collectors, I always kind of ask them what their what kind of notebook they're collecting their information in. I have my big three ring binders for extensive information. If I'm doing a, uh, some kind of a study on a his, an item in history or something and I want to collect all kinds of information on that under that to under my topic history topic, then I use I use that for my extensive information, my big binders. I don't carry around my big binders. Let me grab them. I don't carry around these big binders any place I go, right? <laughs> these do not come with me anywhere except right, you know, in the house. So if you want to if you want to take information, you're gathering information or you're writing information or researching information, let's say you went to the library or bookstore, you know, this is something that you could take or just take this. Take one of, because these slip right out, right? These slip right out of the of the bands. So that's what's nice about the Traveler system is this. <laughs> this is all you need to carry around with you. But I, this does not hold, this would not hold one serious study topic for me. <laughs> you know, I need my big binders, right? But. Uh, what we're going to do right now is what I want to talk about now is using one of these and then or your or your big three ring binder, whatever you use for your collecting, your society of idea collecting ideas, whatever you use, even if it's this and then transferring it or whatever, um, is to have some place to collect your online information like um, your references. Your f and, and today we're going to talk about our favorite YouTubers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the girls here, and if there's any guys, it's mostly girls. So once in a while we have a guy, but 
Hi, Blade. <laughs> but uh, uh, once in a while, you know, we'll have a guy. But what I just want to show you is to keep something, if it's this or in your big three ring binder, someplace where you can keep your information about a particular um, YouTuber. So, and you can decorate this up. I'm, I'm using this one as just a sample. I'm not going to write neat. I'm going to write quick. I'm going to write fast. I'm going to, it's going to be a hot mess, I'm sure. But, uh, and let me zoom in one because uh, I'm, I'm going to want everybody to see who I'm writing about. So, um, you can do it neater. You can put YouTube or you can put Pinterest, you know. Uh, Julie Topaz is our Pinterest queen around here. If y'all do not follow Julie, is it, what is your name exactly on Pinterest? I just have, you know, I, I know how to find everybody by their name. Uh, uh, yeah, well, thanks, yeah. This is my, uh, my, my solar system on my desk. There's probably, I think I'm probably up to about 20, uh, tw this is just a roll of that black craft paper that you get at Michael's. It's that roll of black, you know, it's just a roll of craft paper. And I roll it out, tape it down. And then when it gets full or a hot mess, I just put another layer over it. And right now, I think there's about 20 layers there. And eventually, I'll take them all off when I do a, like a big cleanup in the room or something. I'll take them all off and start over. Same as here, Topaz Pearl Girl. Pearl with an E at the end. Topaz, P-E-A-R-L-E, -E, girl. All one word. Uh, yeah, she's a uh, Pinterest queen. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so whether you have a Pinterest one or have one for Pinterest, one for YouTube, uh, or one for whatever, Instagram, you know, you, your Instagram favorites, whatever it is, you need to either have a book for each or a book for all of them. And that way, when you want to know who's doing what or someone that's your favorite watercolorist, art journaler, altered book. Whatever the topic is, you can go to your little reference. Yeah. Yeah, I could collage with it later, but I, I don't. I don't do it. I, I usually, I used to give them to Joycey, but I haven't done that. Well, I've got 20 of them here. Okay, so what you can do is, you know, just, you know, you can do whatever. YouTube, you can decorate it. You can make stick, put a big pretty stickers. I'm going to, like I said, mine's going to be a hot mess because this is my sample one. And I'm just, and I'm writing real big. When I'm writing my own personal notes in my traveler's notebooks, I write very small. I write like this. So I can get a lot in a book. This is the size I write. I write this size. <laughs> so I, if I wrote this size on camera, obviously you wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm going to write really big when I in here. But what I'll do is I'll transfer this over. Th again, this is one I'm not going to use because it's got all the dates and everything in it. So that's why I'm using this one for my sample for you guys. <laughs> so anyway, for instance... Rage 0113. I think that's right. Ray, you could just, and you can do this however you want. You can decorate it. You can put stickers. You can make it as elaborate or as non elaborate as you want. Rage is, I th is it zero or is it an O? Maybe it's an O. I'm a, I get that wrong. Somebody can tell me. Is it Rage O or is it zero or O? Anyway, and she is doing a year-long project. One of the girls will tell me here in chat. Um, she's doing a year-long six by six, and a lot of the girls here are following her, um, doing a weekly challenge. And uh, so a lot of the girls are doing. I think it's a six. I think it's a six by six. I'm not doing the challenge, but I love her. You know, she's she's been on YouTube forever, and she's you know. Oh, it's the letter O. Okay, so it's the letter O. Okay, so it's Rage O113. I always forget. Okay, it's the letter O. Thank you, Mountain Dreamer. And hi, I hope you're doing well, Mountain Dreamer. Thank you, guys. So let's just say you are doing her challenge. Well, you probably want to have that, like, you know, toward the front of your booklet or your book. If you're working in a three by in a three ring binder, you can move all your pages around, right? Um, you could write down all the challenges. 
you know, and um, there's, you know, you could write them down as you do them or write them down if you don't have time to do them all at the, at that week, at least you'll have the list of them. You'll want to write down her exact channel name. <laughs> You'll want to write down her exact channel name. And, you know, of course, everybody probably has their favorites. I do. Their favorites linked in the in their, you know, computer favorites, right? There are no, you know, a file of all of them. So, anyway, I, I want this to look like an O, not an 8. But, anyway, um, but the point isn't even so much to remember their channel as it is to write what's in their channel. So, if you're doing a challenge... You know, or if you, even if you, let's just say you're not doing the challenge, but you want to know all of the, all the topics that Rach has. So if you ever wanted to do them at a future date, and here's the thing about this. This is for inspiration. Inspiration from, in this case, it's YouTube, but you could do Pinterest. You can do whatever, right? You can do Instagram. You, whatever your favorite place is from to get inspiration in your ideas, okay? But today I'm just going to concentrate on YouTube because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask everybody here, and, and you might have to repeat it. You might have to repeat it because I only can write so fast. I want to know um, who is one of your favorite YouTubers, you can say their main topic, like, and, you know, Rach does a lot of mixed media, so, you know, this is, hers are mixed media, but she does, you know, she does a lot of other things, too, and most people do more than one thing, we usually all do more than one thing, uh, there are some color tubers, you can tell me those that are your favorite, and, and kind of tell me if you want, you, you don't have to, but tell me why you like that person. Um, not the person necessarily, why you like their channel. So that, you know, we, and, and what it is you would want to notate about them. Okay. So in other words, like Rach is doing this yearly challenge week, it's a weekly challenge for a year. So, okay. So Ange said, and I'm not necessarily going to repeat who's telling me, but she said crafty. Hodges. The other thing too, guys, I am not going to be able to link all these people for you in my description box. You'll have to kind of go find them yourself, but th the girls will tell you a name uh, 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 well enough, well enough for you to find them on YouTube. So I'm sure if you go into YouTube search, put in Crafty Hodges, you will not have a problem finding Right, uh, thanks. And Leather and Jade, Leather and Jade is, um, I'll just write her down. And I'm going to put some of the people that are here uh, on here as well. Leather and Jade, I've been watching her. She's been doing, and she does other things as well. I'm just noting what I note about them. Or like in this case, um, Ange put Crafty Hodges because she likes collaging. Now, I don't know if she's doing a challenge, but you can do a page for each person. And then if you go back to that person later, Leather and Jade does uh, the Altered Abandoned. As does Nana's Place. Nana's place, Tracy. She does altered abandoned too. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a hot mess, guys. All right, hang on. I'm y'all going way too fast. I mean, you're gonna have to keep repeating yourself because I can't keep scrolling back. Okay, so Nana's place and Leather and Jade both do the altered abandoned books. Okay, uh, Jean said Steve, and he is great for it. Steve Mitchell is the mind of watercolor. He does watercolor. I'm not writing it all. I'm not writing extensive notes here. I just want y'all to know some of the people. Okay, so Steve Mitchell, if y'all are doing watercolor, um, and he has different, um, he has informative um, on supplies, tutorials. So this is what I'm saying you want to write down. You want to write down the information that you'll get from that YouTuber, and th he's the mind of watercolor. And I'm writing these big so you guys can see them. I obviously will not write this big. 
Okay, so now I'm going to try to scroll and see some of the ones that y'all put. You might have to repeat them if I miss them. Um, hey, G, and anybody else I missed? I'm not really keeping up with who's coming in because I'm doing a lot of writing. Okay, uh, uh, Miss Vicki B for planners. She does other things too, but Miss Vicki B, I think I'm spelling that right. Vicki, no, Vicki... Vicky B, <laughs> Vicky B, and she'll do. She does planners. So if you want some notations, you'll make your own notes on that. Um, CC. I'm going. I'm trying to read some of them. CC Creations. And I hope y'all can read my sloppy writing here because I'm writing fast. And she does watercolor and drawing. Mountain Dreamer Teresa said. Uh, Light and Laughter said Aster's Place. I don't think I've seen this one before. And she does flower arranging, sewing, cosmetics, and crafting. So Light and Laughter she said that she does she does a lot of that stuff. Okay, uh, Lori, Jen, Lori Marie Jenkins. I'm, I'm trying to get as many as I can, guys. Hang on. Lori Marie Jenkins. And she does altered books. Yes, and one of my favorites, and I'll write her too, is the Mary Altier. And I'm now, let's see if I'm going to spell this right. A-T-E-L-I-E-R. And she does everything. She does a society idea collector. She does altered. She does mixed media. She has live shows, I think, on Sundays. She does mixed media. So... There's the, I'm trying to make sure I make their names big enough for you guys to see them. Hang on. Uh, I already, I'm already scrolled back and I already got 35 new messages. Okay, I mean 35 new comments. Okay, so Galena said, I'm scrolling back, guys, so I know I'm going to miss some. Boho Berry, she does bullet journaling. Okay, Boho Berry. Um, let's see. I'm good. I'm good. Trying to scroll slowly, but they it kind of uh, hangs up on me. Okay, so I got an answer. All right, let's see. Leah said Casey Golden with a K. Casey Golden. She does drawing prompts. Okay, that was. I don't think I know her either. Drawing prompts. And she does sewing. Azure says Aruda. See, I'm finding all kinds of ones I don't know either. Aruda does watercolor and gouache. And let me, look, I don't want a Q, I want a G. <laughs> gouache. Um, all right, I'm scrolling. Hang on, guys. Yes, and, and Ann Sigger's. Let me put these two down. Ann Siggers and Jen reading with pugs. Those two are color book, color tubers, color tubers. And Jen also does, she does coloring and book reviews. She does a ton of book reviews. So if y'all want to do a book review, if you like book reviews, Jen Reading with Pugs does coloring and book reviews. And then Ann Siggers is a color tuber. She just does coloring. Well, she shows her garden, garden too, but she's a color tuber. Um, Kimberly, there's a whole bunch. I'm not, I'm not, I'm scrolled back and on pause, guys. So I'm not seeing your newest comments yet. So hang on. Uh, Kimberly said, Inky inky quill very artsy and relatable okay so we'll put artsy quill is relatable <laughs> but i mean you know hey i spelled that wrong okay and i and y'all might have to repeat something uh, connie thank you for saying my name <laughs> okay so a uh, leather and jade said sonia's and yeah i do i do go to sonia sonia's mixed media I, is that her is that her channel name sonia's mixed media is that her channel name? Mix, mix, whoops, Mix Media. I'm not sure. Is that this? Is that her channel name though? Um, 
jade leather and jade okay i know i'm missing some hang on guys we'll get we'll get um okay um zeely said another color um <laughs> another cindy sink i don't know if i know her coloring and i'll try to add more colorist here uh scrolling hang on guys uh packer die is one of my my she does collage and mixed media so packer die um <laughs> j merle janet monkey island madness monkey uh, well i think uh, she's monkey island madness on um uh ustream but on YouTube, what's your, ch well, uh, okay, yeah, there she is. It's her full name, Janet M. Young. And she says she does whatever, whatever Eileen tells her. <laughs> so this is her YouTube channel. <laughs> so y'all, yeah, Janet's the one that follows right after me. She streams on Monkey Island Madness on Ustream. This is her Ustream channel. And y'all can see the, all the different things you can write down. Right there, Ustream channel, their YouTube channel. Um, okay, another one that does coloring. Um, Kangaroo said is Pencil Stash. Pencil Stash. S-T-A-S-H. She does coloring tutorials. So there's Pencil Stash. Yeah, A Colorful Life is Anne. Yeah, that's, let me go back to where I wrote Anne Siggers down, because it's A Colorful Life. Hang on. A Colorful Life. That's what she is on YouTube. A Colorful Life. Uh, I'm scrolling here, guys. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I know I'm missing some. Uh, yeah, and I just found her Packer die. Uh, Southern Gals Designs. I followed her on... Um, I followed her for a while on YouTube, like literally, you know, followed her, link, click, follow. But I hadn't really watched her until the, like the last month. And I love her. Southern Gals Designs. She is, she is, she has a Southern accent. We don't, we love that. I'm in Georgia. Uh, Southern Gals Designs. And she does uh, mixed media um, art journals is what I've, and she probably does other things too, but that's what I've, I saw, Mixed Media Art Journal, Southern Gals Designs, yeah, Sonia's Mixed Media, is that, did I have that right? Yeah, Sonia's Mixed Media, okay, I did have that right, okay, I'm, I'm still scrolling guys, I'm, and I'm behind, I'm a hundred comments behind, so I know I'm missing some, I'm going to try to grab as many as I can, uh, yeah, the musical scrapper Jean. Let me write that down. And she is one of our you streamers, and she does a little of everything. I think she only has one P in her name because she ran out of room. <laughs> musical scrapper Jean, and she is on. She's a streamer, but she also has a YouTube channel that she uploads her videos to. And she does. She's been doing a lot of watercolor. She's getting back. She was away for about a month for. Um, you know, her mom passed away, and she also had, you know, she was sick for a while, so she's getting back into her watercolor. She does watercolor. She does uh, art journals. Not as much, because she's <clears throat> concentrating on her watercolor. And she does some scrapping. Not a lot, but she does some, and there's some on her um, YouTube. Uh, hang on, guys. I know I'm missing a lot, so just be be patient with me. Yeah, Paula is journal artista, and um, she's, let me just write her whole name down here, journal artista, it's all one word, and that's Paula, and she, um, when she has time anymore, she does her YouTube, I mean her Ustream, and uploads them to YouTube, so, and she does art journals, and mixed media, mixed media, so you see where I'm, how you're doing this, but write smaller. You can get tons on there. Debbie Epps and Debbie Epps has she's been doing or not and not lately. I don't know what she's the last couple few weeks, but she was doing pours, acrylic pours, and she does um, mixed media canvases. 
Hang on, guys. I'm, I'm doing my best here. She does mixed media canvases. Um, hang on. I'm scrolling. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to have to s scroll again. <laughs> okay. So if y'all start. All right. So if I missed it, can y'all just say it again? Just post it again. Because I can't keep. If I scroll back, I'm going to lose my chat. So if I have not, and I know there's like a hundred things y'all have mentioned, but I, I, I only can read and write as fast as I can. Leah likes draw with jazz. Yeah, we were doing, oh, sorry. And Leah, well, Leah, I think you, you have a YouTube channel too, or is it just you stream? I don't remember now, but she mentioned draw with jazz and everybody knows jazz and, uh, he's, he's an Australian. He's, uh, and he's an Oz. <laughs> And uh, he does drawing. He does a lot. He does a little everything too. He also has a, a channel of uh, like a vlog. He has a vlog channel. So okay, hang on, guys. So our our Zandra, who is Scraps to Beauty Zandra. Um, this is let's see. Let's get her name here. Scraps to Beauty Zandra, who's still in Australia. She she went to Australia with CB and Janet for three weeks, and she's staying another three weeks so she can take a workshop with Jane Davenport. So Zandra is still in Australia. So she won't be posting anything for a few weeks. But she has a lot of mixed media. She has a lot of mixed media on her uh, channel. So Scraps to Beauty Zandra. Um... Connie said P Peta Hewitt color coloring. I haven't seen her. Has she, is she still doing it? Is she still? Um, I haven't seen her post for a while, but maybe I've just been missing it. Peta Hewitt. Um, okay, I don't know. And Zeely's mentioned Yvonne Doreen. I don't know her either. So I'm getting some new people myself. Yvonne Doreen does coloring. Um, yeah, now I know Color with Claire and Sam. It was Sammy <clears throat> coloring. Is it color in chat with Sammy? I forget what it is. Color with Claire and Sam. Uh, what, uh, Susie Q, are you here? What is Sammy's official channel name? Is it Color in Chat with Color with the O U? Because she's in UK. Color and Chat with Sammy. I think it's color and chat with Sammy. Uh, Peter's, Peter's in Australia also. That's right, Connie. She is. She's in Oz, too. She's in Oz. Uh, Sammy's in UK. And I know I'm missing some, guys. You'll just have to repeat them for me. Hi, Diana. Diana, I'm glad we, we communicated this. Diana in Bluffton... Um, one uh, one of the uh, Hannah Carlson books. She was she won the drawing here, not the YouTuber. The YouTuber girl already got hers, and I had not heard from Diane about her book. Well, it was returned to me. It was returned to me over the weekend. So we've emailed each other. So I'm gonna send it again. Give her the tracking number. I think what it was, uh, Diane, it wouldn't fit in your post. You might have one of those things where they won't deliver to your door. Leave it on your door. So I'm, we're going to send it out back out tomorrow. So let me know as soon as you get it, Diana, and I will send you the tracking number so you can track it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Lynette, what does Angela do? I need, I need y'all to tell me what they do. Okay. And another one of my gals, my favorite, Barb Owen. And Barb Owen does a little bit of everything. She does mixed media. She teaches, she also has uh, classes um, that you have to sign up for. I think she offers some free samples, but she has classes that you can buy. Mixed media, she does sewing. She does, uh, she does a little everything. Let's just put Barb Owen down for everything. <laughs> Including having a hot son, as he's called, that's his nickname, who does her, um, her behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> so Barb Owen does everything. It's color and chat with Sammy. Thank you. So color and chat with Sammy. 
okay um thank you thanks guys okay and another colorist let me get i have a page of coloring here somewhere well i filled that up okay another color -er. Uh, let's see if I can get a bunch of the coloring girls here. Okay, so Julie Passion. That's another one. Julie Passion for coloring. Julie Passion for coloring. Oh, yes, Pacola. Inky Obsessions. That's Patty. Inky Obsessions. And she does mixed media. And there's the cat. She does mixed media. And pour, she's done pours. She does a little everything, too. Inky Obsessions. Her name is Patty. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to get all the... Kind of putting them together. And, and, guys, I know I'm missing them, so you'll have to just repeat them. Okay? You'll have to repeat them. Tear, yeah, okay. Um, Bunny Designs. And she does a little bit of everything, too. She's been doing coloring lately. And she's in the UK. Bunny Designs. Um, hang on, guys. Yeah, Mike Deacon. He he does um, D E A K I, and he does mixed media. Uh, who else? I'm I, I'm trying, guys. I don't know Carol Martine, okay? Carol Martine. And I'll go, I'll flip back through this whole book again so everybody can kind of see. Carol Martine does collage. I don't think I know Carol Martine. I was trying to find out. I love collage people because, you know, I love me some collage. Okay. Um, Super Ray Dazzle. Oh, Dizzle? Super Ray Dizzle. She does drawing, Leah said. Super Ray Dizzle does drawing. Okay. Um, another planner is Carrie Harleen. Hang on, guys. We're I, and if you know if this is if y'all aren't enjoying this Society of Idea Collectors episode, then don't email me. I'm trying to get as many shout outs and new ideas for everybody as possible that's connie connie harling planner C yeah mel yeah chris c-h-r-i-s chris ching is a colorer i do have her in my coloring uh list who else color and chat with kate I don't think I know her. And I might follow some of these people uh, already on YouTube. But, you know, I just d don't get to them very often or at all. Coloring and chat with Kate. Okay. Who else? Oh, the book nester. Yes. <clears throat> I think it's the book nester. If y'all like anything with books. And there was another... Um, Julie, who was it that messaged me? Another book person that makes books. It's, I think I still have it on my Twitter. Somebody messaged me and told me I needed to go look at this girl's hand and make she makes books. Um, let me see if I can get to it real quick. Twitter messages. Yeah, it was Julie. Julie Topaz, and I did follow her, but I had not really watched her. Nick the Booksmith. It's Nick like N-I-K, The Booksmith. If y'all like to make books, Booksmith. And she makes books. So there's the book nester, like book, talking about books. Book, Nick the Booksmith makes books. Uh, oh yes, of course, the Art Sherpa. The Art Sherpa. <laughs> Gotta have the art Sherpa. Cinnamon Cooney? Yeah. That's Cinnamon. The art Sherpa. If, and she does, a, I think, mostly acrylic, like canvases, full on paintings, to tutorials. But she's, you know, she's very, she's just like one of those people that 
ch talks all the time like me. <laughs> so the Arch Sherpa. Okay, let's see. C. Okay, um, what does she do, Suze? Okay, there's a couple people mentioning sea lemon. I don't think I've ever heard of sea lemon. What does sea lemon do? They said a little of everything, but give me a little bit more information. Give me some more on what she does. Um, Kate's Coloring Haven. Was Kate's Coloring? All right, let me see if I can find it again. Kate's Coloring. I'm trying to put boxes around them. Kate's Coloring. Well, wherever it was, Kate's Coloring is Kate's Coloring Haven. I thought we wrote Kate down. Didn't we write Kate down? <clears throat> Hang on, guys. Well, maybe we didn't. Okay, there's Sammy. Kate's Coloring Haven. And, okay. Okay. All right, Ginger Cook. And these are all recommendations, guys, from my, my viewers here. So, Kate, uh, Ginger Cook does acrylic. Okay, so she does bookmaking. Sea Lemon, she does bookmaking too. Am I correct? Because there's a lag in chat, so I'm trying to keep up. All right, hang on. I don't, Lynn Dare, I don't think she has much on, does she do YouTube videos? I think her YouTube videos are like one minute videos talking about her classes. Lindare, I don't think she has like videos, does she? She just has classes, I think. The one you're talking about. I could be wrong. Correct me. Okay, yes, of course our Shannon Green. Shannon Green. She does mixed media. She does a little everything. Shannon Green. Okay, so Sea Lemon Doodles and a bookmaker and doodles, okay? Let's see. The, the Frugal Craft. Okay, yeah. Uh, Lindsay, and I'm not going to... Let me see if I... I know y'all spelled her name wrong there. Lindsay, and I don't know how... Her, what's her last name? W. Somebody spell it. I, yeah, I got Journal Artista Paula Pacola. Somebody spell uh, Lindsay's last name correct for me. The Frugal Crafter. She does everything. The Frugal Crafter does literally everything. If you look up the Frugal Crafter, you'll find her. I'm not. I don't want to spell her last name wrong. Well, Willish, Wellish. I'm not sure how, but anyway, it's Lindsay, the frugal crafter. Just look up the frugal crafter. She'll be the first one there. Trust me. Okay. Um, so I know I missed. Yeah. See, I, I don't want to put somebody's, I don't want to put, I mean, some of the girls that y'all might mention are some of the, they have awesome classes, but they don't really do YouTube videos. They just put their class, like a one-minute video advertising their classes. I, I want people that, you know, do a lot of stuff. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with, not that there's anything wrong with uh, doing the classes. Trust me. I like a lot of the girls that do classes. But I, I don't want to just be advertising their classes here. Yeah, I got, I got Inky Obsessions, uh, Ka uh, Karen. Okay, so let me go ahead through what I've got because y'all are starting to repeat some of them. So this is just a, and guys, this is just a handful. Again, this is um, 
a way to collect whether you put it in your traveler's little booklet or whether you put it in your society of idea collectors three ring binder or a combination of both or in both and write notes or whatever you want to do because sometimes these people have classes or like i wrote down at the beginning rage o that's a o one one three not zero rage o one one three she's doing a six by six mixed media challenge for the year and so even if you're not taking the challenges, um, uh, okay, hang on guys, I'll catch up on some of those in just a minute. Um, even if you're not doing the challenges weekly, you can write them down and do them at some point. Okay, I know I've missed a lot of people. Please, oh, okay, thank you. Um, Julie Tope has spelled her name right. Let's see, let me go back over to Lindsay. Let's go over here to Lindsay. It's W, where, where'd it go? E-I-R-I-C-H. But she goes by the Frugal Crafter. If y'all want a little information on everything, including like how to promote your channel, how to sell stuff. And I, I, and I gotta say, guys, I don't get over there as often as I would like. But she does have tons of information. And I think she does a live YouTube once a week. Am I correct? Um, Kmore, does she put her... I watch her on Ustream. Is she, does she put her stuff on YouTube? I want YouTubers right now, guys. If they only put them on Ustream and don't upload them to YouTube, that I'll, I'll do that another time. I'm not sure if Colleen puts her stuff on Ustream. I mean on YouTube. Okay, let me show you how I ha who I have so far. So I've got Rage O113, Leather and Jade, and Nana's Place but are both doing Altered Abandon right now. So if you want to see some people doing that. And I think Sonia, Sonia is also doing abandoned, um, Altered Abandoned Places book as well. Okay, Crafty Hodges does collaging. Steve Mitchell does The Mind of Watercolor. That's his. Show, that's the name of his show. That's his name, and he does water, all kinds of watercolor. Miss Vicky B is my. She's my planner queen. Miss Vicky B is my planner queen. <laughs> CC Creations does watercolor and drawing. Aster's Place. I don't see. I didn't see what y'all said she did. I'm not familiar with Aster's Place. Lori Marie Jenkins does altered books. The Mary Altier, she does a little of everything. Boho Berry, again, I'm not familiar with her, but they said she does bullet journaling. Casey Golden does drawing and prompts. Eruda, e I'm not familiar with her either, but they said watercolor and gouache. Ann Siggers and Jen Reading with Pugs are both colored color tubers, and Jen also does book reviews. Jen Reading with Pugs, and there's my cat. There's one of the cats. Let's just squish him in here. Okay, then Inky Quill is relatable. <laughs> uh, Billy said Lindsay streams every Friday. Okay, yeah, and I'm going to write down Mr. Victor Crafter. Mr. Victor Crafter. I love him. I don't care what he's doing. I like listening to him. He's in the Ukraine, I think, Mr. Victor Crafter, and he does mix, I'll just say mixed media. He does a little of everything, mixed media and crafts, and I love listening to Mr. Victor Crafter. <laughs> I just like listening to his voice. Hey, CB, anybody else popping in? Okay, uh, Sonia's Mixed Media. Cindy Sink does coloring, Pencil Stash does coloring, and like I said, Mr. Victor Crafter. I just like listening to him. He, he does, sometimes he'll just take, wa nope, 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 you can't get on the computer. You, can't, you can do anything else, but don't get on the computer. You'll disconnect me, big guy. Um, <laughs> so we'll just sit here and bet his tail. Um, anyway, he, I love listening to his voice. Packer Die, who does collage. Southern Gals Designs. She does mixed media art journals. And I just started watching her. I really... Okay, you want some... Here, he wants to play with some brushes. Here. You want to play with some brushes? Here. You can you can play with those. He likes to try to eat them. He'll knock that over in just a minute. Um, Janet. Janet M. Young. 
Monkey Island Madness, and she does whatever Eileen tells her. <laughs> Jean, the musical scrapper, she she's she's really doing watercolor again. Although she does, she's done other things too. Journal artista Paula, all kinds of art journaling and mixed media. <coughs> I'm gonna have to go get some juice here in a minute, guys. I'm losing my voice. Debbie Epps, who does acrylic pours, mixed media canvases, draw with Jazza. Of course, we all know draw with Jazza. Zandra scraps to beauty, and she's in Australia for another three weeks. Kate's coloring haven. Peter Hewitt does coloring. Yvonne Doreen does coloring. Color with Claire and Sammy, or coloring chat with Sammy. What is it? Where is it, girl? What are you meowing about? She's in the other room. Uh, Julie Passion for Coloring. Bunny Designs is coloring. Ginger Cook it does acrylic. Barb Owen, she does everything. <laughs> Mike Deacon does mixed media, and, and he does, um, he makes uh, books. I think he sells them, too. He makes books, you know, uh, he makes books, <laughs> what else to say. Uh, Super Ray Dizzle, I don't think I've ever seen her either, drawing. Inky Obsessions is Patty. Uh, Carol Martin does collage, and again, I'll have to look up. I'll look up, um, yeah, Prince Oliver. I know, I know. He's a, he is so, he, he's he's getting my pins and pins. He just wants something to play with. Uh, is it Carrie? Was that Connie or Carrie? I think that's, is that Connie? Harleen? Or Carrie Harleen? I was writing so fast. Does planners. The Book Nester, Book Reviews, Nick the Booksmith. Does bookmaking, Chris Chang, coloring, coloring chat with Kate. Yes, yeah, I did have her down there twice. The Art Sherpa, Cinnamon Cooney. She does acrylic painting tutorials. C. Lemon, bookmaking and doodle. Shannon Green, mixed media. The Frugal Crafter, Lindsay. Anybody else? Okay, we still got a few pages here. <laughs> then we're going to make some color book stickers. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's looking up at the ring light. <laughs> Did you not want to play with... You want me to just get you out a brush to play with? There you go. You want to play with that one? You want to play with that one? Yeah, he wants to paint. <laughs> okay, so... I'm scrolling, guys, trying to find some more. But I think you get the idea. Okay, you get the idea. I'm trying, guys, to scroll, scroll, scroll. Hang on, I'm not seeing chat. What is it? Okay, he's leaving because he hears his sister. All right, let's get you down then. His sister, come here. Malibu, come here. She's looking for Hubster, and he's not here. I don't think. Is he here? Is he gone yet? Yeah, he's already gone. So, <laughs> so Malibu's looking for him, I think. Okay. So, anyway, guys, I hope that helps um, you to see how to collect some channels. Okay? Keep them in a little book. Write down everything they're doing. Write down... Um, you know, challenges or prompts or anything like that that will help you to, um, that will help you if you need inspiration. Look at all these channels now. we got plenty of inspiration here. If you, if you didn't already know these people. And there's tons more, guys, and I know I missed a bunch. So, you know, um... Yeah, Alfonso Dunn is another one that does drawing. And I, I don't know if he does prompts, but Alfonso Dunn. And I haven't, I, I, know, I know him, uh, but I haven't been to his channel in a while. So he does drawing. Um, and again, guys, I can't get to every one of these every day or every week, you know. So, okay, so that's where we're going to stop right now. Uh, and I know there's plenty more. I, and, and, so, and some of my friends are going to go, you didn't mention me. So, I, you know, I just, I tried to grab as many as what everybody else was saying. 
but anyway, that's a way to collect and keep your YouTubers. Again, you can do this with YouTube. You can do it with Pinterest. You can do it with IG. You can do it. And I don't write like this in mine, guys. This is not how I, I wrote them real big here in a extra in an extra traveler's book. I write very small, so I would be writing them all. I know here. This is how small I write. I write this size. <laughs> But for the camera, I wrote them really big for you guys, just so that you could see them. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, let's put that under there, out of the way, is I'm going to go get some juice. I've got to get something to drink. And then what we're going to do is we're going, I'm going to show you how to, and I'm going to do it the long way. You could just print stickers out. There's, you know, you could print this stuff out on sticker. This is sticker paper. You could just copy it, print it, and, you know, and all that. But I'm going to do it the long way. I'm going to show you all stickers the long way. All right, so let me go run real quick and get something to drink. Just just take me a second to run downstairs. And then um, we're gonna, I'm going to do a couple little stickers. And what I guess what I'll do, this is what I'll do, because I'm going to do a Society of Idea Collectors giveaway. I got all my names here. There's lots in here. This bowl is really deep. There's a lot of names in here. And I'll, uh, I'll make some stickers and we'll give, those, we'll give those away for today's Society of Idea Collectors. Um, the society, this, is, this is episode Society of Idea Collectors, episode 28. And so I have a playlist. I have a playlist on YouTube of all my Society of Idea Collectors ideas. And um, so you can go back and watch them. It's, it's just, you know, it's just a bunch of ideas is all it is. little toy mice everywhere in this house they love those little toy mice okay oh okay let me take a got me some cranberry juice let me take a sip get my breath catch my breath um oh it's a bunch of good ideas thanks connie and thanks and connie sent me connie sent me uh, a gold um posca and two black poscas I thought I had I thought I had all the every kind of Posca but did not have gold. So thank you, Connie. That came in Amazon overnight. <laughs> that was so sweet. Now I can't find my Doolers Anonymous double page spread. I don't know where I put it. It's here somewhere. I just gotta dig around. I thought I put it in sleeves, but maybe I didn't put it in sleeves. Oh well, I'll look for it later. I did take pictures of it, I thought. Okay, so, what I thought would be fun, let me turn down the, because the sun is really bright here, just turn this down just a little, is using uh, color books that have, you know, individual images like this to make your, own. now, don't I, and somebody's going to say, well, you can't sell those. Well, I'm not telling anybody to sell them. <laughs> Take your color book, you know, tear out some pages. You're going to use these for your own personal use. I'm going to give some away, but, you know, you can't sell them, obviously. I mean, that just seems obvious to me, but somebody will say something, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to get a couple pages here out. Let's see, maybe these flowers. And this book has got perforated pages, and the pages are kind of like cardstock. 
so these are kind of cute maybe these and of course I'm not gonna have time to color all these but I'm just gonna pick out a few pages that I like those are cute too but I'm, I know this is already probably more than I'll have time to do so this is just just add color botanicals Melissa C-O-N-G Kong Dunn and um, yeah so they're just all kinds of and there's tons of these books out there guys there's tons of color books out there that just have like individual elements okay the sun just really flashing out there there we go uh, <clears throat> and so what I want to I thought it was three golds in different sizes no the, the thing is two blacks these are black ones um, Connie Oh, no, wait, you're right. They are gold. I just saw the black cap. See, it has black cap. Oh, my gosh. You're right. They're th it is uh, gold. It just has a black cap. Hang on. With a gold clip. Oh, let's just let's pop this baby open. <laughs> yeah, in three sizes. Okay. All right, we're going to take a little rabbit trail here. Hang on, guys. Let me get the plastic off. We'll get them going here. Thanks for saying that, Connie, because I thought it was black. See the with the lids? Because all the other colors, like they just have whatever brown, you know, whatever color the lid is, pink. <laughs> I didn't know the gold ones just came with that, except for this one. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. All right, hang on. Let's un let's take off the plastic here. Get the plastic off this lid. All right. So let's do a little test. We, maybe we'll color one of these flowers in gold with gold. All right. So let's just get them all pumped. This one is the 2.5. I don't think I have any in 2.5. Maybe a bl a black. Hang on, guys. It takes me. You just got to kind of shake it and see it's already coming down. Shake it and pump it a couple times. Almost. There it goes. So this one's a wide. Let me get a, get a scratch. This one is a wide. Okay. Then this one is 1.3. Hang on, it just takes a minute. You ordered that color book? Oh, good, Sue. Sue says she got the color book for $1.59. Okay, and then this one. There we go. I'll hold it up a little closer. And then this one is 0.7. This is the tiny sharp, the sharp point one. I've got to readjust my lighting there again. <laughs> Okay, and then this one's very thin. All right, awesome. Thanks, Connie. So there's the three sizes of the gold. Very cool. Um, the gold and silver are great, especially on black, and you also have the glimmer color. Yes, I have. I have those. Um, I have the. I have those, Jean. They have like glitter caps here. I, I think I have six of these. One, two, three, four, seven. They have seven colors. There might be eight, but I'm only seeing seven right there. And in the um, metallic or glittery, it's shimmery. Yeah, I used those last week on something. Okay. So I just got to keep my juice away from if the cats jump up here. Okay, so what I'm going to... Oh, no. I, well, I smeared, I, I smeared it on there. That's okay. All right, so what we're going to do is this sticker paper. I got this... Sticker paper can be very expensive. I peeled this up to make sure I had the right side. 
nothing. Make sure, especially if you put it in your printer, make sure that you have the right side down and right side up. Otherwise, you'll be printing on the back, and it feels so similar, it's hard to tell. But I got, you know, sticker paper can be very expensive. The nice sticker paper at, like, Staples or your, you know, Office Smacks or any of those. I just wanted some cheap sticker paper. I didn't want to pay $40 for 10 sheets or whatever. It was ridiculous. It's redonkerous. <laughs> and um, so I just wanted some of the, you know, inexpensive kind just to make some fun stickers and stuff. And uh, to, you know, print some out. And uh, so I wanted cheap stuff. So I got a hundred sheets on Amazon, a hundred sheets for ten nine ninety. Let me look on it. Let me look at my Amazon because they always have all my orders in there. So hang on, let me look at my Amazon app. One moment. Uh, orders, my orders. It is called. This is what the it was called. Full sheet, blank shipping. It, it says labels, but it's not labels. It's a, sh it's full, it's, well, it's full sheet, shipping labels. But it, but make sure you get full sheet. It says on there, full sheet. And I messed up my lighting by sticking my phone under there. All right, let's fix that. <laughs> Can't stick my phone under there. Okay. Um, and it was... I'm looking at how much it was. Ten, it was like 10 bucks. There's a couple different ones. This one's called 100 Sheets of Sticker Labels for $12.99. I think I got mine for $9.99 for like 100 So if you're just wanting to, you know, for your own play or, you know, even if you're making your own hand-drawn stickers um, and you don't want to spend a fortune. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, but what I'm going to show you is rather than printing any out, and also if you print out your own stickers, and there goes the flashing again. If you print out your own stickers uh, with your inkjet printer, make sure that your inkjet printer, that you are able, hang on, to color on it without it, uh, without it smearing the ink. So in other words, if I printed something out on my sticker sheet here and I wanted to color it with uh, markers or well, with anything, you want to make sure that your particular brand of inkjet ink is not going to smear. Yes, this is, <laughs> this is a full sheet, Terry. Very funny, girl. Girl! <laughs> okay? But here's what I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to take some of these flowers. Let's just let's just do one here for an example. So we if we run out of time, you can at least see how to do one. Um, let's uh, let's do one with gold and I think I'll just use um, I think I'll just use my Crayola super tips. Let's go up purple and gold and I don't know, purple, gold and lime green. Why not? These colors because I want it bright so you can see. <laughs> Okay, Robin, thank you. And um, so I'm just going to use my Super Tip Crayola here. You can use you can use anything. You can use your uh, uh, alcohol markers. You know, be aware, this is this is kind of a thicker paper, but it's still going to go through if you're using alcohol markers. But it's not going to matter if it goes through in this case. Because what you're going to do, we're just going to, we're going to do a little color here. Again, I'm just trying to show you all the, a sample. Ooh, I can zoom in one. And I'll just take a moment. Okay. 
chill, catch my breath, do a moment of coloring, or moment of coloring silence. <laughs> silence? What's silence? So these are just some ideas and then again what I'm going to do is make a couple stickers and I may not finish them all here but I'll, I'll that'll be a couple of giveaways. I'll do a couple giveaways of stickers with our, anyone that's in the Society of Idea Collectors bowl. If you're in the bowl. <laughs> And feel free if y'all want to share more people's uh, channels in the in the chat, and and y'all can post links too. You know, I just wanted to grab as many as I could real quick, just to um, show you how to collect some. If y'all want, if y'all want to ask me anything or talk to me, put it in caps, guys, so I see it. All right, so let's do maybe let's do this part. This one's almost done. This one's almost dried out. Let me get another. Let's see if this one's better. There we go. This is a little bit different color. Let me go over those. Hello there, Oliver. The big guy. He's twice as big as a sister. He's, he's digging in my pencils now. This one's almost going out, too. I use these all the time. Do I have another one that's the same? I don't know. Let's see. I had this pack of sticker paper in your car. <laughs> yeah! Um, okay, wait, I missed some chat here. Just to turn up, they are coming round to dinner. Oh, awesome, Susie Q. Awesome. Have fun. Are you cooking while you're watching? If they're if they're coming over to your house? Susie Q and Susie Q is Sammy color and chat with Sammy's mom. And she said uh, they're coming over for dinner. They're in the UK. So it's dinner time. <laughs> oh, it looks like a, yeah, that is a marble. It is a marble, Connie. It's a marble turned into a planet. It is. And so this is a quick way to color. And you can always go back and shade. You can always go in there and shade if you want. You know? With pencil. Again, this is more about the idea than anything. Alright, now I'm going to go in here with my gold. I'm going to go around the outside here. With my new gold Posca. First time using it, so it's going to get it crack a lack in here. Let's see the gold. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ollie needed an ASMR moment. Yeah. I don't know where is he. He's in the window sleeping now in the sun. The, the window's closed, though, because I have the air conditioner on, so... Supposed to get up to 90 something today. And I think it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. I think starting tomorrow. We're supposed to have rain, which we can use. We haven't had rain for any, you know, real yard soaking for a while. No 
want to make sure this Posca is dry. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun to make sure. Because Posca's, you know, that's acrylic paint in a pen. Yeah, I knew what you meant. <laughs> uh, I knew what you meant. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Maybe I'll do... Let me get the bigger one. Let's get the bigger gold and do this whole area in here. And I'm sure Janet's streaming at 1 after me Janet I need to shake this up I didn't get it really I think I got a little bit of there we go now I had a little bit of streaking going on because I didn't really get it shook up well let's go back over that I think I'm gonna put some black in there too Wait, do I like, yeah, let's go with some gold in the leaf. Let me dry that because I want to put some black in there. Yeah, a limo, cat hand, mixed media. Yeah, that's another good one for mixed media. Yeah, sorry guys, I didn't. I know I missed a lot of people's comments. They're flying by, and I was scrolling back, and uh, I know I missed a lot. But share them in chat with amongst each other. I was trying to scroll back and read as many as I could. Okay, got a little fuzzer on there. Let's make it a little bold. Yeah, a little bit of... I just wanted to show y'all about, you know, keeping keeping a list of them. I mean, keeping more than just a list in your computer, like a clickable link, but putting more information down, especially if you follow any of them regularly and you want to know, you know, if they're doing, you know, if they're doing a challenge. And I used Rach as an example because she's doing a weekly challenge for, I guess, a year, week, every week. And uh, so if you want to keep track of anything like that, and if they've done challenges or prompts or something in the past and you didn't get to do them or you want to maybe do them sometime, then you can uh, write them down and keep track of them. Okay, that's good. So you can kind of see, get the idea. Let's do a little bit of touch up here where I missed a spot. Maybe I'll go in here on these little squares. I was waiting to see if Janet is, Janet is uh, streaming. Bye, Billy. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you had a, I hope you had a nice visit with us. Hope everybody was nice and friendly. We encourage that. Okay. All right. So just for an example, so we got gold in there. Let me hit it with the heat gun to make sure. And I think the easiest way to do this, so you're not you know, thinking you got to fussy cut five times. 
just cut it out like this, kind of close. Just, you know, kind of. And some people like white borders on their stickers, and some people like it really. This would not be hard to cut out right on the edge, right? But some things are hard to cut uh, fussy, like this. You couldn't fussy cut this without leaving a white border, right, or a right edge, because you can't cut that one line. Well, I guess you could, but, you know. But I like the white border, like on my phone here. Here's one of Cam. This is one of Cameron's artwork. And I made stickers out of it. And see how I just left a little bit of white border? Because, look, going around the hair, going around the hair and all. So this is, um, that's one of Cameron's stickers that I made for him. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this on the sticker paper. So I think we'll just use, I'll just go ahead and put it on, oh, uh, where's mine? Let's just go ahead and get a little bit of, uh, I used some glue this morning. So you pour, I, I don't really trust too much um, glue. If you're gonna use a glue stick, I recommend using a Yoohoo. And depending on how thick your paper is, I think you'd probably be okay because we're putting the plastic, I mean, the shiny over it. But I just, I'm going to put, I'm going to just put some uh, tacky glue on my finger. You could probably use Elmer's glue, just anything, but smooth it out. Don't just roll a big bead of glue on there because that, that bead of glue will show bumpy, right? So I'm just going to put it on here and I'm going to glue that down on top of the sticker paper. Okay, and then it'll be a nice, it'll be a nice, good sticker. Okay, do the paperwork and the lunch. Um, yes, you could, you could cut this. Yeah, this is, this is very thin. Yes, the cameo silhouette for sure. You could use it in there, but not everybody has a cameo, so I'm doing it by hand here. But yes, for sure, you could use this in your cameo. Yes, yes, I know, Jean. Yes, you can. <laughs> but I'm doing this for all for everybody that doesn't have one and I'm also doing it like I said you could print out on your sticker paper you can there's lots of different ways you can do it I'm just going to show you how to do it with some um, uh, what do you call it um, um, oh, what's this called oh Shelf, like shelf, well, it's not shelf liner. It's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Clear. Okay. I'm trying to think of what the word I'm trying to use for it is. Hang on, guys. Let me make sure I get this going here. Let me just, here. What is the word I'm using? Contact paper. Thank you, guys. Contact paper. <laughs> Contact paper. Thank you. Uh, I just cut a piece off. And some of you got to roll these edges. It's the same thing with the sticker paper. You got to roll the edges to get it to peel. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I got my contact paper. I got my sticker stuck on the sticker paper, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the contact, and this is bigger than I need, but I'm just, I want to show you the example. So I'm going to put the contact paper over the sticker, so now it's waterproof, so you could have done, you could have done the, the uh, coloring with watercolor. You could have done it with anything, because now it's waterproof, right? Waterproof, waterproof. <laughs> and now I'm going to take my stick, now I'm going to... Well, let me just kind of get around it here. And now I will fussy cut. Okay? And when I say fussy cut, I still mean leaving a little bit of a white border. And this makes a nice... Um, sturdy sticker by doing it this way. And this is just my sample, and I'll, the ones I give you guys, I'll take more time with. Okay? So now, you got your contact paper over your image, so it's shiny. And then, you just, you know, just like you do any sticker, you got to kind of bend it until you get the 
peel of it. Well, let's not peel up where you just glued. <laughs> there we go. So, see, then that's the sticky part. I started peeling up where I glued. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I'll just glue it back down. Okay, and so now I'll just peel this off, and that, there's your sticker. Does that make sense? So you can use these little color book images to make, thanks, thanks so much, Leather and Jade. Have a good day. Okay, so let's do one more. And again, I'll do a few of these. I'll send you all three or four, however many I have time to make. Let's do a, let's do one with, um, let's do a watercolor one. Let's get a, I'll just get my little Jane Davenport's here. Uh, water brush. But yeah, you can definitely uh, put this through your uh, Cameo, the paper, Jean. Where is my water brush? There's one. And we'll just go with this nice bright pink here. And the thing about putting the contact paper on, see, it makes it waterproof. If you just did, made a sticker like this, now you could always just reprint it. You could color it and print it out on your printer. Uh, but again, that doesn't necessarily, your inkjet printer, you know, doesn't necessarily make it waterproof. But the contact paper makes it waterproof. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll put a little of the darker magenta color. This is like old school sticker making, <laughs> Jean. <laughs> old school. And then let me just kind of get it wet a little bit and kind of... And again, you can add as much water as your, this paper is a little thicker, but you know, if you're using create space water, you know, paper to make your stickers, make sure that you're not, um, you know, peeling up your, ruining your paper, you know. Hi, Orla. Oops, sorry, come here, guy. I'm sorry, I stepped on your little foot. He's mad now. He was sitting right behind me. Okay, so let's see, maybe I'll use this orange here in the center and you can leave it watercolory you know messy like you know you like old school okay all right so now let me dry this take it oh, let's see let's get a nice pretty magenta color here and you know maybe do the lines add a little bit more oomph the pencil you can you know you can color with whatever your technique or whatever your It's just like making zines old old school. <laughs> the name of the paint, this is the Jane Davenport, one of the Jane Davenport sets. The blue one, the teal color one has the brights, has the brights in it. The gold one has more of the neutrals. And the dark teal one has more of the greens in it. There's the colors that's in it right there. And these are the three sets that she has out. Okay, so let's just do a little, you know, maybe let's do some little 
watercolor pencil lines in there just to make it fun. Squiggles, doodles. Let's take. A little orange in the middle. Then maybe some white Posca dots. Yeah, G, G's fun. If y'all don't follow G, G Brody, she's fun. She does Society of Idea Collectors all the time. And again, guys, I know I missed a lot of people's channels. Trust me, I missed hundreds. But I just wanted to give y'all the idea of how to collect your channels in a traveler's or in your binder or whatever. Okay, so let's just do those little white dots like that. See, I just did swirly stuff. I just did it all kind of fun. All right, let's dry this. Now I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna fussy cut it yet and you don't wanna really fussy cut till you do your final cut. It's just easier not to. So just kind of get like that. You know, just small enough so you're not wasting your paper. But, you know. All right. So now, again, I am going to just use my tacky glue on the back. I'll get a little bit more here. It'd probably be okay since you're putting the contact paper over it. I don't know. To use the Yoohoo you glue stick. I just trust my you know tacky glue better because <laughs> i know it's a nice even coat right so i have room right here for that one hey paula hey katrina anybody else i miss thank you guys for being here contact paper. I got mine at Walmart. You can get this at Walmart over in the shelf liner. It's a couple of dollars. <laughs> I don't know. Now, if you're looking on, this is, you know, I don't know uh, where y'all are looking. If, well, Melody, it might be more expensive for you with shipping over to, to Malaysia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's probably, um, yeah. <laughs> Melody, do you want me to send you a, a a, a peel off, you know, a, a sheet, you know, a cut off some of it. I'll just send you some if you want. Don't order $18 worth of contact paper <laughs> for a few little stickers. Okay. All right. So now, let me uh, cut off a, just a little piece. cut off a piece here and you can be more careful not to not to waste any right you can do that I mean I'm kind of in a, you know trying to do it in a hurry and all that so I'm just peeling off the contact paper and there's all different kinds of this stuff you can get guys okay and make sure that you you know you got to be careful not to get bubbles so just you know Okay, and now, now's the time to fussy cut. Well, I say that. Okay, now I'll fussy cut. <laughs> okay, all right, Melody, no. Okay, well, I just saw you say something about how expensive it was for shipping, and I don't want you to ship um, a roll of this stuff for a few stickers. <laughs> you know what I mean, Vern? And so I'm leaving a little bit of the white edge. But you don't have to. You could go right up to the border if you want. Or right up to the edge of the of the of the image. But I like the contact paper over it because it makes it waterproof. So you can mm -hmm. use like I use watercolor there and you don't have to worry about it getting wet and ruined ever because you got, you know, it's contact paper. 
So this is just a fun way. Kids, you know, kids could probably do this, except maybe they might get frustrated not cutting it, fussy cutting it neat enough. You might have to fussy cut out for them. But they could color. They could do the coloring, and you can make them make the stickers out of it. You know? <laughs> okay. You know? I mean, that's what I do with Cam's art. You know, this piece right here, this is a this this is probably on a you know about this you know it's big it's a big p uh, piece and I shrunk it down and uh, just shrunk it down printed it out now I just printed these right out on sticker paper didn't put contact paper over those I don't think no I did I did put some kind of something over it was it contact paper? anyway it was some kind of coating I think for him yeah Dollar General usually has it for two dollars yeah yeah exactly so anyway there you go guys and it's, it's shiny, but it's not that glossy. It's like a satin. Contact paper makes it kind of satin. And I think you can get other ones that are shinier, because I have a bunch of different kind of rolls around here. I just picked the most easily accept, uh, accessible. This is a, a most accessible kind. Um, and I'm trying to make it for everybody to be able to do, to get to, right? So anyway, and then, then you can peel... Then you can just peel it right there. See, that's a sticky. And you got an, a sticker. Yeah, now the yeah, now this is just contact paper, like shelf liner type stuff, you know. And uh, now and you weren't here, Paula, but we're talking about this paper the sticker paper itself is a hundred sheets on Amazon. It's the cheap stuff. Look, it's very flimsy. Okay, but it's good enough to, ha it's sticky, it's sticky enough, right? It's sticky enough <laughs> to make you some, some stickers. The kind that you buy at Staples and, um, you know, Office Max, all that, it's like, it's, re it, we said it before, it's redonkerous. <laughs> it's something like 10, 12 sheets, uh, it's like 30, but I mean, it's re just really ridiculous. The price is ridiculous. Get this cheap stuff off of Amazon. A hundred sheets for ten bucks or so. And, you know, really. Okay, so I will be doing more of these. I'll, I'll do more of these. Cut them out and I'll send out. I'm going to do two drawings here. I'm going to draw two names out of the Society of Idea Collector Bowl. And I will send you all some. I'll make some of these for you guys and send you some. All right, so here we go. Move my juice. And also, if you just joined us, Paula or anybody else, I showed, talked about how to collect your YouTubers, Pinterest people, and again, I'm writing huge for the camera. Uh, you can fit you can fit thousands in here if you write normal. Uh, I just I wrote real big so everybody could see everybody's uh, name to to keep track of your YouTubers, Pinterest, IG, any of them. All right, so I am going to fluff these all up. These are all the people that have sent me their address to be in the Society of Idea Collectors, and I'm going to cover it up so I can't see. I'm going to dig down in here. I'll pull out a name. Judy Patootie. So Judy Patootie. She's going to get some stickers. All right. Let me do one more. Okay. Get dig down in here. Get one person's name. There's two there. Let's get one person's name. Phyllis Bowens. So Phyllis. Bowens and Judy Patootie, you are going to get some stickers. Handmade stickers. <laughs> Handmade stickers. There we go. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys for putting in links. Yeah, Judy will be thrilled. Yeah, I know she's had some rough times. So, okay, so Judy Patootie and Phyllis 
will get some of my stickers. I'll make them neater than these. These were my samples, guys. Seriously, these weren't that, you know. I'll take some time to color some nice ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you can run and you can put this sticker paper in your cameo and probably your scan. I don't know what I have the cameo silhouette. And so you can I could run this through there and cut out anything. And you can also do the print and cut and all that too. Um but I think the uh, cutouts in uh, any shape on stickers would be would be cool. That Nina, that is contact paper. Just contact paper you can get at the dollar store. I got it at Walmart. See, clear. Just clear. You, look, they put them here. They're showing them. Put in over book covers. Over, over instruction manuals, your social security card, you know, it's to kind of semi-laminate, yeah. And it's only a couple dollars a roll. And I mean, I, I'll, I don't know that I'll ever use all that. <laughs> so there we go. That is some ideas for using some of your color book images that are standalone images like this. Color them. Glue them on the sticker paper and laminate, or, well, you could laminate it too, but, you know, well, you only would only want to laminate one side because you, you want the sticker paper on the back. So, I hope that was fun for you guys for a um, Society of Idea Collectors today. And, uh, yeah, so y'all have any questions or anything going on? How much you can't get that sticker paper on Amazon? Oh, it's thirty dollars on in Canada, Jean. That is redonkerous, as we would say. Let me back up here and fix my lighting and all. Let's readjust. The white paper made it flash out. So is there anything else y'all want to see, talk about, mm, you know, anything before we go? I don't know where the cats are. I'd fling one up here on the table. Yeah, I don't know how much contact paper is on Amazon. It's probably cheaper at the dollar store or Walmart. I don't know where the cats are. Let's see. Let me look. Oh, here's one. Come here. Here's little Malibu sitting there with her little mice. She's the tiny one. Oh, stretch. Stretch and lay down so I can pet you. She's little. The other one's big guy. She'll, you'll probably hear her purr. She purrs really loud. Oh, um, yeah, and you can buy Cameo sticker paper, but it's going to be expensive. But I like the brand of it. Yeah. Okay, Eileen bought another kind of sticker paper on Amazon. How much? I can't go to the link right now. Uh, Eileen, how much is your sticker paper that you found on Amazon? I know, CB. It's so glad, to, good to have you and Janet back. And, you know, and I hope Xandra's still having fun over there. Yeah, don't buy the contact paper on Amazon if it's more expensive than uh, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Do you know how to clean a blending stump? Um, you can sharpen it. Um, sandpaper, Zeely. A sandpaper. Um, have you ever seen those little sandpaper? Um, they come in drawing kits. I have one around here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. They're little sandpaper board, you know, boards. You could use a, you could use an emery board. Use an emery board. 
Yeah, I got I got probably have an emery board here somewhere. Yeah. Here you go. This is what you do <laughs> to clean one. Uh, a blending stump. Yeah. Yeah, she is much more tiny. She is. I want to see how you make sun rays in your coloring book. You mean a glow or a ray, Katrina? Because my glows, like around a lantern, let's say, it's pencil on top of acrylic paint. Yeah, she probably is having a blast with that without us, but still. <laughs> uh, is that what you mean on the sun rays? You mean the glow around things? Because I don't know if you mean like a literal ray or a glow. Because the rays I would make with acrylic paint. I can do a quick demo if you want. With the baby wipe. Can you hear her purring? Like here, I'll show you. Let me get a baby wipe. We get a little paint. And I take the baby wipe, and it's wet. It's a wet baby wipe. And I mash the paint into the baby wipe. Mash it in. You make sure, it makes it like, it mashes it into the baby wipe, and you don't just have a blop of paint. You have a mashed in, okay? So let's just say, here's the sun. There you go. There's your rays, like that. You can make them a little dark. Oh, I stuck my, I stuck it in the glue. I was going to go, it's not very white. It's because I put it in the glue. Okay, we can kind of clean it up there. <laughs> like this but it's on top of you know this is just paper with paint if you want to do something like this with pencil if you want to do rays with pencil you're going to have to have acrylic paint on the background well I guess you don't have to but if you want to make it easy on yourself <laughs> yeah. there you go <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, Jennifer. I have, yeah, Jennifer, I saw you post a link this morning. You posted something about your Ustream channel this morning. I haven't had a chance to watch your show. So um, I'm not sure what it's about, but I did see you post a link or post that your video was up. So I have to go watch it. You're welcome, Katrina. But if you want to glow, um, or a, uh, let's look in this looking tie bar. Let's see which one is it that I have the, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Let's see, and was it Seasons? No, it wasn't Seasons. Summer Nights. Which one is it that I have the, I thought it was Seasons. Hang on, I'm looking through my car, Hannah Carl's on books. So I want the blue, the blue face. Where is she? Hmm. Which one is it again, guys? Y'all always have to tell me. Which is the one that has the blue face that looks like the avatar? I'll wait till somebody tells me because I'm just sitting here flipping through books. Which is the book that I did the uh, blue girl face? Like the, uh, the avatar type face? It's not in Tidevarv. Which one is it? It's not in Daydreams. Which book was it in? 
I was going to show the candle glow. The candle glow. Yeah, I haven't watched the video, so I don't know what you're talking about, Jennifer. Okay, well, I'll let y'all go then. So, um, thanks, everybody, for being here. And hope y'all got some ideas from the Society Idea Collectors. And um, we'll see y'all later. Bye.